Good morning, evening, night, afternoon, whenever the hell you're watching this. Hey there, everybody. This is Fire Phoenix. I've been watching too much Rao Cow, apparently, because that's his intro. Well, okay, so what are we doing back in this? I beat the game already, didn't I? Well, basically, um, when I released the game, I had a whole slew of, like, random extra levels that I never was able to put in because I never had a place for them or they were never finished um, because as I've mentioned basically I just cancelled this after a while and just released what I had uh, to the public so what I've done is I've actually gone through and put myself or put put the levels together in a way that I can actually access them so, what we're going to see now are all the bonus, hidden, beta, whatever the hell you want to call them, levels. So what I've done here is I just mapped out, I just gave myself the three Switch Palaces from the actual game. You can see there's the, all the game over there. So just going to be going through. I'll probably take two videos to do this because there's enough stuff. So let's go and let's go. This is Northern Plains. It was originally the Donut Plains 1 remake. It was originally one of those. Um, let's see. What else? Oh yeah. Um, I had originally done, before this, there were two hacks that I'd tried doing, and both were essentially just me changing around ba very basic levels, designs. Uh, this one's a carryover from the second hack that I did, but it, the, that level in the old hack was basically uh, flight, it was called flight training, so basically you got the feather and after you pass the midpoint, you go and just fly to the end. But for this, since I intended to use it again, I needed to do something more with it, so I deleted the flying section, and then lost interest. And so, after the fly after the midpoint right here, there's nothing. And for whatever reason, there's a random hole in the ground that, that I don't... I'll have to look at it. And there's another random hole. I don't know. I don't know why there's random holes in the floor. But essentially, you can beat this level just by flying to the end, because I kept the end there. We And cut off ground. Uh, the next level, uh, I called simply uh, Guest Level. It was going to be, there was going to be a bonus section of this game, and that's where the Brinstar and Metro, uh, the... Brinstar and Tetris levels were going to be, basically like me just doing random things with uh, graphical changes. Uh, and this was going to be included in there. It was a level made by my brother, actually, and for a level, first time level designer, it didn't actually turn out to be too bad. So, he kind of went overboard with pipes, but I mean, I... They were provided to him. He didn't know any better. And it's not like they do anything. So basically, he's just got, he made a huge level with the midpoint really, really close to the beginning. I helped him out with things like secondary exits and whatever. But, for the most part, he did pretty well designing it on his own. The only thing that he did, which I think was a bit unnecessary, was he basically had padded length. Just big open sections. There's a secret exit, but I'm not going to get it because it requires me to be small. Basically, you go down 
Well, I'll get the coin that's down here. Basically, you go down and under there. And wow, slow down. I blame the Goomba bomb on the generator. But for the most part, the level is solid. Just sort of... Well, it's better than a lot of first-time people do, I'm sure. So that was his level. Now we sort of get into the rest of the iffy levels. Oh, and... Yes, I do have some completed overworlds that nobody ever saw, because this was originally World 7. And when I realized that I didn't have or want to make the rest of World 6, which was on the main map, I had to just sort of grab all the pipes and extra levels and castles, houses, whatever, and pull them onto this, onto the unused sub-maps. So that's why they look like there's a whole bunch of stuff everywhere. There's actually hidden levels, like, above Mario that are not viewed at the moment, but whatever. Um, I don't know, this was originally going to be a level in World 4, but I don't know why. I think it was going to be where the Density Cavern actually is now. I'd actually done a lot more of this level, and then something happened and it disappeared. So I lost interest in that, and that was it. Mm, vanilla drop will take a little while. Because it's a full world. Star World 5 is a carryover from the old, the second game I made as well, where I was basically just redoing levels in the Star World. Um, it's a free fall level. If I had the yellow switch pressed, it would look, it would be a bit different. Because it would actually have the switches on the sides be pressed yellow. Where, there is supposed to be another star. Ouch. And if you got them all, you can go up there and get the key, but the triangle doesn't work properly because I don't have it on the right tile. So, you can't really get up there. Um, the Yellow Switch Palace, we remember, I did this one in as a bonus in the, in the actual playthrough. Because I somehow accessed it. So I'll, I'll just quickly get through. something over there. There's probably an invisible one-up mushroom. This is also... I redesigned all the Switch Palaces I had for the most part when I made this hack. And this one didn't get its redesign because I never got to it. It's actually supposed to be in World 7. So I never got to finish it, so this is why it looks all oldish and the design isn't too great. So, yeah, that's the yellow switch. Uh, next time. Since that'll take a little while. Next time, we'll go to whatever. We'll keep exploring these beta thingies. So, yeah, this is Fire Phoenix doing the Forever Mystery Extra. Um, see you guys.